Again, not poo-pooing on you know a seasoned investor buying properties in a high-risk neighborhood, but you got to buy it right. And this one, it just doesn't even comp out. Don't make no sense. A, we've already checked. They've tried to sell it you know, three times didn't work. So that right there, the market's proved it's overpriced. But in addition, you got the comps, right? I pulled quarter mile comps. These are all the duplexes that have sold within a quarter mile in the last six months. One sold for 26,500. Another one sold for 45. Another one sold for 50. One sold for 65. That's the closest price to ours. And I want to, I want to pull that up for you. Because remember, I, I said that our duplex was worth probably half of what it's listed. A and this is key, right? You you might get folks, like I, I know like unsophisticated wholesalers, they do this shit all the time. They'll, they'll look up comps like this and they'll find this particular property and they'll see that it sold for 65,000. So they might tell investors out there like, hey, you know, this duplex, we've comped it out. It's worth around 60000 We've got it listed for less than 60000 We got a comp right down the street sold for 65000 And then some investors who are novices, they might be thinking, oh, hell yeah, man, I'm getting a good deal. No, dude, you're not getting a good deal because this is not actually a reasonable comp. Look, you got to understand, if you've been watching a lot of my content, I talk to you guys about my favorite type of duplex, and that's a side-by-side -side duplex. You see, we got a ton of side-by-side -side duplexes in this market. We also got a ton of up-down duplexes, okay? Side-by-side, -side, if you ever have the opportunity to buy a side-by-side -side duplex versus an up-down, you want to do so because your, your turnovers are going to be less frequent because the tenants aren't fighting as much because they don't have anybody living above or below somebody. So what we have here... This is just a beautiful, huge side-by-side -side duplex. In addition, it's brick. So if I were to buy a particular property, just looking at the building itself, this one is the very best type of duplex I could possibly buy. What we have listed here, this is this is just a, this is a one-off, right? What this is, this was a single-family home that was later converted to a duplex. This isn't even a true duplex. So the very best duplexes you can get are your side-by-sides. Then after that, it's just your traditional up-down duplexes, properties that were built to be a duplex. And then what you have here, you got the one-off. You got you got the, the red-headed stepchild, so to speak, right? This is just never meant to be a duplex. So it's, it's always gonna have issues. You're never gonna necessarily get the very best tenants because the layout just, it's just not correct. Correct. It's just not how it should be. Like you see the the roof line here. You're going to have issues like this. There's going to be a lot of rooms in that upper unit that are smaller. It's it's just not what an apartment is supposed to be. I mean, look at this bathroom, man. You're always going to have a less than ideal layout for your bathroom. Now, I'm not saying that you should never ever buy a converted property, you know, a single family that was converted to a duplex. I'm not saying you should never do that. But when we look at analyzing rental properties, we're starting to stack up pros and cons here. And in this particular deal, we're stacking up a lot of cons. Con number one, super high risk, right? I would consider high risk usually to be kind of a con, yes. Number two, layout. The layout is not good. And then, of course, the most important thing here, it's overpriced as all hell. Like, take a look at this. Now, a lot of times, because we do in the portfolio, we have converted singles. Uh, you, we have properties that are now doubles that used to be singles. They're converted singles to doubles, however you want to call it. We've never taken a single ourselves and converted it to a double because it's cost prohibitive. But you see a lot of these that, you know, they were done so somehow by somebody in the past. They did it. And we run into this before where you have... Uh, just a bath, no shower. What you could do is you can get a, a rod that goes out, it's an external rod, and it shoots up, and it gives you a shower head. Because, you know, you would assume 99.9% .9 of all the people trying to rent your property are going to want a shower, correct? Well, they haven't even done that here. All they have is just a tub, and the reason being is they don't have enough clearance, right? They don't have enough clearance to actually get the shower head up there. <laughs>